eternal and infinite, omnipotent and omniscient. That is, His duration reaches from eternity to eternity, His presence from infinity to infinity. He governs all things and knows all things that are or can be done. We know Him only by His most wise and excellent contrivances of things. We reverence and adore Him as His servants. The great genius Pascal, the father of modern mathematics, said that, But by faith we know His, God's existence. In glory we shall know His nature. Von Helmont, one of the leading figures of modern chemistry and the inventor of the thermometer, declared that science was a part of faith. George Cuvier, the founder of modern paleontology, regarded fossils as surviving proofs of the creation and taught that living species had been created by God. Carl Linnaeus, who first systematized scientific classification, believed in the creation and stated that the natural order was a significant proof of God's existence. Gregor Mandel, the founder of genetics and also a monk, believed in creation and opposed the evolutionary theories of his time, such as Darwinism and Lamarckism. Louis Pasteur, the greatest name in the history of microbiology, proved that life could not be created in inert matter and taught that life was a miracle of God. The famous German physicist Max Planck said that the creator of the universe was God and stressed that faith was a necessary quality of scientists. Albert Einstein, regarded as the most important scientist of the 20th century, believed that science could not be godless and said, science without religion is lame. A large number of other scientists who guided scientific history were religious people who believed in God. These scientists all believed in God and served science with the intention of discovering the universe which He had created. As God decreed in the Quran, they thought about the creation of the heavens and the earth and investigated in the awareness of God. The birth of science and its development were the result of this awareness. During the 19th century, however, this awareness was replaced by a fraud called materialism.
The 19th century was a period which witnessed the greatest errors in human history. These errors began with the imposition of European thought of materialist philosophy and ancient Greek teaching. The greatest error of this period was Darwin's theory of evolution. Before the birth of Darwinism, biology was accepted as a branch of science which provided evidence of the existence of God. In his book, Natural Theology, the famous biologist William Paley maintained that, to the extent that every clock proves the existence of a clockmaker, natural designs prove the existence of God. However, Darwin rejected this truth in his theory of evolution. By distorting the truth to fit materialist philosophy, he claimed that all living things were the result of coincidences. In this way, he created an artificial separation between religion and science. In their book, The Messianic Legacy, English researchers Michael Bagent, Richard Lay, and Henry Lincoln have this to say on the subject. For Isaac Newton, a century and a half before Darwin, science was not separate from religion, but on the contrary, an aspect of religion, and ultimately subservient to it. But the science of Darwin's time became precisely that, divorcing itself from the context in which it had previously existed, and establishing itself as a rival absolute, an alternative repository of meaning. As a result, religion and science were no longer working in concert, but rather stood opposed to each other, and humanity was increasingly forced to choose between them. Not only biology, but also branches of science such as psychology and sociology were twisted according to the materialist philosophy. Astronomy was distorted according to the materialist dogmas of ancient Greece. The new aim of science was to confirm materialist philosophy. These incorrect ideas have dragged the scientific world into a dead end for the past 150 years. Tens of thousands of scientists from different branches worked in the hope of being able to prove Darwinism or other materialist theories. But they were disappointed. The scientific evidence showed the exact opposite of the conclusion they wanted to reach. That is, it confirmed the truth of creation. Today the world of science is astonished by this truth. When nature is examined, it emerges that there is a major plan and design in every detail, and this has cut away the foundations of materialist philosophy. For example, the extraordinary structure of DNA shows scientists that it is not the result of an accident. The DNA in a single human cell contains enough information to fill a whole 900 volume encyclopedia. Gene Myers, a scientist from the Celera company which administers the Human Genome Project, says this.